Hello, welcome to the KCS demonstration video. The KCS monitor operation has already been started and it's running here. And I've also already tuned our in-house audio enhancement solution to incorporate a bass boost as well as flatten out the frequency response. This video or this portion of video is to show how the KCS algorithm can suppress nonlinear speaker distortions. And to do this, I have another operation from Clipple called KCS evaluation, which is right here. Uh, it outputs a frequency response to the speaker and measures the output using a microphone setup I explained in the introduction video. So the properties of this frequency sweep that it outputs is a log base frequency sweep from 20 to 20 kilohertz in a time frame of 0.7 seconds with a stimulus level of negative 12 dBFS. I've picked the stimulus level so that it doesn't trigger any protections, they're more mechanical, but still able to reach the nonlinear region of the speaker and cause the distortion. So let's measure it. But first we turn off KCS plus EQ. And let's run sweep. So we see that this frequency response is pretty flat and the this is the 3DL spectrogram, which is pretty much measuring the frequency intensity over time. This is a straight frequency sweep, but we see that we have some weird frequencies that we don't want uh, in our frequency sweep. This is complemented by the THD graph where we see a huge THD spike at around the 100 hertz, which is around maybe 30%, or actually I think it might be 25%. Then we also have the rub and buzz graph, but I won't really go into this because this is meant for seeing if the speaker bottoms out or not. So uh, now that we've seen the speaker distortions as uh, it's over here, where it reached uh, around 1.5 millimeters, uh, let's run it with KCS on and see the results. So I've cut the video so that I can duplicate the THD, KCS off and KCS off over here, so we can do a exact comparison with KCS on. Let's measure it. So we see that the frequency response is still the same, uh, but the THD is severely reduced to just 10%. And that even the spectrogram looks very good over here. Uh, we used to have like a lot of other frequencies in this portion on this graph. And uh, this concludes that the KCS operation is actually doing very good in nonlinear distortion suppression. And now we have the music uh, portion of the demo.